<laughs> Take, Take a, a look, look at my, my girlfriend. Because she's the only one I got. Ba -da -da -da. You're wild with Not Travis McCoy. Of, that's what I'm saying. Like, where are you, fam? Yeah, he was super tall. He was cute. He was cute. He was I'm like gonna a, look him up and he, see where he is. Oh my god, I gotta show you this picture. He was like a cute, like black guy that was really the fact around that the he whites. was like, yeah, I was gonna right? say that him and Katy Perry though. Yeah, because she was the model for that video. That was his girlfriend at the oh, time. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. isn't that nuts? He was like a certified lover boy, right? So you know that she was like a church girl. Katy her, Perry? Yeah, her name is actually Kate Hudson. Her what? real name is Kate Hudson, but she couldn't use that name because the actress Kate already Hudson. had it. So she went with Katy Perry. Perry's her mother's maiden name, I think. Holy shit. Yeah, right? That's Little sad. trivia for y'all. Wait, you're back? Yeah, they always come back. Welcome to another spicy episode of the Ladies Pitch Podcast. Sit back, relax, and let the ladies do all the work. Here are your hosts, Haiti Baby and Dory. We are going to provide our own sound effects tonight. Oh my gosh. You guys, we just went karaokeing. I don't know if that's a word, but it I don't care. And it was so fun. It was my first time. 55 a.m. is what? Oh, it is. We all do drinks. I know. Drinking Smoking. is fun sometimes. So we were just talking about like Travi McCoy and how he's just kind of like fell off the face of the earth. And we miss him. Gym class heroes. Yeah. Yeah. Like, where you at, homie? Were they considered a one hit wonder? I don't know because, I mean, technically he's on tour right now in Australia in March. But the so only they're doing something. <laughs> they're cooking up something, right? But the only know. song I remember with them is that one song. Take a look at my Cupid's girlfriend. Chokehold. That was the name of it, right? Yeah. Cupid's Chokehold. God, I love that song. Yeah, that song was dope. It was. Well, guys, welcome to another oh episode gosh. of the Ladies Pitch Podcast. Bonus episode edition. Mm. You might like this one because, you know, we're drunk and... We might say some stupid shit. Drunk recording is really fun, though. Oh, Drunk my potty. God. Is it? Drunk like, it's awesome. Fun. Yeah. Listen, man. Yeah. A lot of fun. So, we had a... <clears throat> we had a karaoke night. We went out. Some karaoke. I haven't sang karaoke in a while. It's been a while, y'all. No, well, I had never done it. But I had so much fun. Oh, my gosh. And let me tell you guys did, how, like... I had a lot of fun. I was so hot and I don't like titty sweat. So I took off my, I had a romper on and I took off the top because like my titties were sweating and I don't like that. Bro, she took her titties off. Yo, All I right, wait, let's rewind. <laughs> <laughs> There's a camera in the room. Let's rewind. And we had a camera. Dory and I had a ca uh, camera. We had a room. Yeah. We rented a room for two hours of karaoke, just she and I. They had a camera in there. So all of a sudden, I look at her, and she's like, I'm hot, because, you know, we, we're putting on performance. Like, if we have a, a, a We had a whole concert, yo. We had an entire concert. We thought we had, like, 10,000 people in attendance <laughs> to our concert, right? So she's like, I'm hot, I'm hot. So all of a sudden, I look, <coughs> and her titties are out. And I'm like... <laughs> Your titties are out. <laughs> She's like, I'm hot. But there's cameras in there. And I'm like, bitch, there's cameras in this room. And what She's did like, I say? So what? I said, uh, what enjoy I said, the show. Enjoy the show. 
She's like, enjoy the show. And then the bartender came in. Yo, wait. <laughs> my titties are all out. I was like, girl, I'm hot, okay? So I'm only here telling her, like, yo, they're they going to kick us out and never and tell us to never come back again. But, of course, that didn't happen. But the, the bartender comes in because we yeah, had Yeah, shout out to her. She was mad cool. Alicia. Yeah, she was mad though. So she just comes in and Dory has her titties out. <laughs> titties out and i'm like oh my lord whatever anyway mm-hmm. nothing happened but her titties were out her titties made an appearance at the bar tonight while we sang karaoke and it was <laughs> so much fun like you know god knows what he does when he doesn't bless certain people with like a nice voice which i think totally skipped me because my dad <laughs> had a nice voice yeah. you know what i'm saying he could sing yeah. that's the fucking gene skipped me because what the fuck I would just be singing for no reason. Like if I had a nice voice and I really could sing, I would just spend I would just spend my days just like humming shit, humming tunes and just (laughs) singing to the best of my ability. (laughs) But it was a lot of fun. Karaoke's fun. I really love music. I really love to I know that was fun. We picked some, I love to sing. we picked some questionable songs, but it was fun. <laughs> because you always be like, yo, this is my karaoke song. But then you never quite like remember Yo, what you know what's my karaoke song? So I have two karaoke songs that I always <laughs> wanted to do. And I'm like, yo, if I ever do karaoke, these are the songs that I'm gonna sing because I know all the words to these songs. The first one is um Kryptonite by Three Doors Down. Didn't like, you do that one? Yeah, I did. Oh, that's yeah. when I FaceTime um Chani. Yeah, that's like one of my like my favorite songs like ever. Like this song comes on and I can't help myself. Like I just sing the whole thing through and I fucking love it. And then the second one is Carry on the Wood Before He Cheats. Before he cheats. Cause yeah. She did her two songs. I did. And oh I man, I do, went in. I didn't even do one of one of my songs is Welcome to the jungle. And I didn't do it. You didn't do it. Welcome to the jungle. I fucking <laughs> love myself. I, yo, I love some Guns N' Roses. Like, I fucking love them. I love We did Smash. Aerosmith, though. Aerosmith is yeah. awesome. Yeah, Aerosmith we, falls under. fuck with you, Aerosmith. But God, I love me some Guns N' Roses. Like, I, I'm, in lo- I'm, in, I'm in a mental relationship with Slash. <laughs> And he just yo, she that ass is, bro. You see, I got his book around yes, there somewhere. I know. Like, I'm like, yo, she really is. She I mean, loves Slash. I'm in a mental fucking relationship with Slash, and he just doesn't. I know love it. how you say it's just a mental relationship because I'm delusional <laughs> and I'm aware of my delusional. <laughs> is I'm that delus- a thing? I don't know, but we can make it a thing. I'm, I'm aware too. I'm aware of my delusions. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> Very self aware. I know I'm very self aware too. Yesterday I was dorying real hard. Whoa. And I just tell you right now beforehand, these coughs are brought to you by THC that we're currently smoking. <laughs> it's not COVID related or anything like that. Oh you my know, gosh. it's not any illness related cough. It's um oh, no. THC related coughs. Anyway. <laughs> um yeah, yo, I was at the bar and I was telling Dory, that I wanted to talk about these bitches getting blue face tattoo. Yo. His face tattooed on their like, on their faces. Why? No, no, no. My thing is like, why are these women getting men's faces tattooed on their face? I love tattoos. A face tattoo, though, and nah. Like, listen, there's just. There, I could love you. I could want. I could be willing to die for you. I am not tattooing your face on my face. Like there is just no need for all of that. And the worst part about it is the fact that Blueface is a piece of shit. So it's like, yo, what the fuck you doing? Like that nigga ain't shit. Yo, if you want to get some shit tattooed on you, like a nigga's in issues or something, like I think that's when you. I think that that's when. Fuck my baby daddy. Fuck my baby daddy. That's the kind of tattoo you See, should be getting, bitch. Right. Like, I can understand. I can understand how you receive the type of dick that makes you want to initial that motherfucker's like, 
you know what I'm saying, first initial, wherever you yeah, want to put it. what happened to the good old days I where you would just that. be like their initial or something? Or I something understand that. that. I understand that type of level of like dick delusion. Yo, facts. You, you know, know I have dick two of those? Dick mutation. <laughs> I have two tattoos like that. <laughs> I'm just making a word to you. I'm like dick mutation. You know what I mean? But the type Dignopsis. of nopsis. Dick nopsis. <laughs> <laughs> I understand that. I understand that type of dick. I don't understand the type of dick that makes you want to get their face. On your face, yeah, because there is. Listen, there is. N- ba- it's because we have sons. We were born in the eighties. It's these nineties babies. Listen, we like y'all, but y'all doing too much. Cause like, come on now. Because now that girl, what's the name? Selena Powell. She got. Oh, oh my God, Antonio Brown. I think. Listen, I'm not a sports guy, but I think Antonio Brown is a former. NFL player, but she got his face tattooed on her face. And then Krishan got blue faces <sighs> tattoo, face tattoo on her face. And I am very ashamed to say that Krishan is a Pisces. Mom, 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 mom. Yo, she's I'm putting not y'all to shame. I'm not very um proud of her doing that bullshit around Pisces season. I don't know how I feel about that. Right, because what the hell? And what I just don't doing? understand because as far as I knew, like I thought that they were like done. What happened to the Rihanna kind of Pisces fucking women? Oh yeah. She's oh, a good Marie leader. Just... She's a good leader to have for Pis- for Pisces women. She's good. Yeah, Krishan is my I'm not sorry, Krishan. Krishan. I love you. I think that you're a great girl, but I think that you just make questionable choices. I don't want that kind of dick. Yo, that is a fact. That's exactly what I said. I was like, I do not want the kind of dick that makes me want to tattoo a nigga's face on my face. Like, how does I want to know? Like, I would like for her, like, I would like to meet Krishan just so she could walk me through the process, the thought process of you wanting to get a man's face tattooed on your face. Like, how do you wake up and just be like. The worst part about it is that she already got how many tattoos of this nigga? His name, his face, like in other places. She already got like six of them. So it's like, why? Okay, it's fucking social. Like, what else do we need? (laughs) We got his name, his face, get his social, his date of birth, (laughs) and shit, you got his whole identity on your body at this point. You got his child. It's too much. It's too much. Get his fucking social. And I just, I feel bad for her because I feel like it's so much. And it's like, I don't, I she's getting the short end of the stick because he's never like he just i really don't think that he loves her i don't feel bad i don't, I think don't he feel bad for her them, to be honest i don't think <clears throat> i don't feel bad for her anymore i don't feel bad for her because she knows what she's dealing with she knows what she's dealing with I'm sure he plays a big role in that. I don't want to create a think piece around this because they're so I'm over them. Mm-hmm. But I think that in some way, some form, they're both, we've seen both of their families. They're extra fucking toxic. They think that shit is that normal is and they think that shit is cute. So they're just doing what they know is normal to them. That's Ugh, it. That's terrible. That's, that's it. terrible. That's it. But keep me away from that kind of dick. No. If I ever wake up and I tell you, yo, I think I want to get that man's face tattooed on my body. Bitch, I'm going to smack you so fast. I need you to, <laughs> no, no, no. I need you to slit my throat. <laughs> I need to be, I like. A no, it's not happening. Ex- like, I need you to slit my throat. I need to be unalived immediately. <laughs> there is no reason for me to continue walking this earth when my thoughts consist of, tattoo of a man's face on my body yeah that's no no Mm -mm. and i like bearded men there's no no way (laughs) there's no way that's happening i don't know i just feel like like i have no i don't know she lost her thought (laughs) (laughs) no i have my thought i just don't want to share it 
I can't. I can't. <laughs> I cannot. I cannot picture like wanting to do something like that. Wanting uh-huh. to tattoo a face. Like I, I again, I get the whole like an issue thing. I go. I get like I can't in a, do faces. I don't. I don't <laughs> want to do a man's face. Like I just don't want to. I just. I have a fear of like doing a man's full name on me. Like I will do stupid shit like uh anniversary date. Right. Your or like a pic, um something that reminds you of them. Like something that reminds you of them. Like a little tattoo that you know y'all got it together or something. Like that's cool. Cause you could always make some shit later on if shit don't happen. If shit you guys end up breaking up, you know what I'm saying? You can always make something up. <laughs> as far as but what, it means. what am I gonna do <laughs> exactly? But what Can't am I gonna do, shit do about, about the face. face? Like a cover up. Imagine how the fuck you cover up a face tattoo that big. You just gonna have a big ass black circle on your face? Like what the fuck is that? that? I, I don't like. Any, I don't like face tattoos. I don't. I've seen like I seen some women with like some cute like little ones on the side. I just I'm all for tattoos. Is it Cardi whatever. that has something like that? Like over here along her jawline. I like that. I don't know. I, I would There's never one do of them, it. One of them girl rappers out there that got like um something along their jawline, mm. and then and I think that that's cute. I also I don't know. So I'm obsessed with like red tattoos because you know I'm so pale. No, that's really <laughs> nice. Yeah, red I'm really pale, nice. yeah. so I like the red tattoos. I just like red. I think that red is my color. I'm definitely gonna do. I'm definitely. Um, I want to do a sleeve. I need a core sleeve. I really want to do that shit. Me too. I saw some. Yeah, I saw. I have some saved. That was like, damn. I'm really gonna start that for like summer or something. Like, yeah, I you know. know. Mm-hmm. I mean, I kind of started already back here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> there we go. But yeah, I don't know if I have told you guys or showed you that I got a is a tattoo of Belle the princess. You did. Did I say it? And she's dressed like a loony person. Because, you know. Pretty fitting. It really is for me. And <laughs> so she's, so her actual name is Hannah Bell Lecter. And I think that's so genius. Isn't it genius? Hannah Bell Lecter. Yeah, it's fucking genius. Because her name is Bell. And yes. Hannah Bell Lecter. Yeah, Hannah Bell Lecter. That's fucking dope. So. That's one of my favorite movies. Like horror movies, Silence of the Lambs. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen the whole thing. I know, I'll try to make you watch it, but you fell asleep. Oh, I'm sorry. You go back. <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm sorry. Like, I, I I only remember, like, bits and pieces of this movie. I don't remember, like, any big defining moments. It's one of those psychological thrillers. No, I know. Yeah. It's like um, you know, you know what it kind of I feel like it's kind of like the Bone Collector. Remember the Bone yeah, Collector? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, like that. that. Wait, Fucking, yeah, I love that movie. I think it's so great. Yeah. It's something there's a something lot, like lines. like magical almost about having the bad guy be somebody who's like in a bed quadriplegic but they're still like running the show. Like isn't that amazing? That's master manipulation. Yo, this fucking amazing though. That's what it is. <laughs> like, it's a, it's awesome that they can fucking do that. Like I wouldn't do that, but damn, like I give you props for all that because it's it's awesome. Yeah, that is nuts. I haven't seen the Bone Collector in a long time. We should watch it. Yeah, I like those movies. Um, <clears throat> I forgot. I forgot to tell the people to like and subscribe. You already know. I'm not even going to do the run through. You guys already know what to do. Like, like, subscribe. What was it? Was it? Press the like, button share, or whatever. Follow us on social <laughs> media. Oh, shout out to Romy, to your homeboy Romy, because he thought that, like, because last week I recorded mm-hmm. the last episode, I recorded alone. He thought we broke up. Oh, so he was like, "Did you guys break up?" I'm like, "No." Oh my like, god, I'm so pressed that he asked you and he didn't ask me. Yeah, we well, up all the time. Well, I guess because um, you know, it was the ladies' pitch page, so he probably thought like we both check it. Mm-hmm. So he was like, he put a surprise face to the story, and then he was like, "I was like, what happened?" And he was like, "Did 
did you guys break up or don't tell me you guys broke up? So I was like, no, it just needed oh. to drop something. Like, oh my just... god, he's such a cool guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So shout out to you, Romy, because like... you're fucking amazing. Yeah, I'm like, nah, she's. I've good. known him she's... since high school. Yo, in high school, he would wear the baggy clothes and he had long hair, so he would get braids or he would have a fro. <laughs> oh my gosh! But shout out to him, yo. I also had somebody else that hit me on the DM. I, anonymously, I'm gonna keep him anonymous, but he was like, "Yo, I want you girls to talk about squirting." I don't know what he wants to hear exactly about squirting. Well, let me tell you that I I'm read like, an article <laughs> about squirting. <laughs> I'm like, maybe Dory can take it away. <laughs> like, all right. So, I I actually I literally just read an article about this because I wanted to know like. Where it comes from, basically, you know, like what what the trigger is. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was it was awesome. And the lady was saying, you know, she's like, any woman can squirt. It's just a matter of finding the spot where, like, those nerves connect, the nerve endings. Mm-hmm. And um, I mean, I don't know. I listen. I squirt when. Well, I don't know if this is too personal. <laughs> you too personal i know right look at that me catching myself um so i don't know how to say this in a proper way this is not a proper podcast <laughs> yeah all right so when a guy fingers you and they like well for me when they finger me and they just kind of like like hook it mm-hmm. towards the front and then it's like but it has to be like really like deep in there that's when i squirt that's when it works for you that's when i squirt oh my god it's so bad but it feels so fucking great mm-hmm. like oh shout out to the guys that can actually find that spot yeah <laughs> shout out to ya yeah, you're uh there's only two of them god's favorite no i'm both it, like three yeah i i don't really know what he wanted i was like what exactly do you want us to talk about when it comes to squirting he's like what is it you want like a manual you want to make your girl right i'm like are you trying to make your girl squirt are you listen i don't know i don't really know because that's not my forte right so just listen remember this the g spot is literally behind the clip you finger her and you hook your fingers to the front where it's like you're touching her clip, but from the inside. Yeah, you do like a come here motion. Right. With your fingers. That's her G spot. So imagine if you like just double, like you double touch her because now you're touching her clip from the inside and then you touch her clip from the outside. Wow. Exactly. And boom, you're going to have motherfucking fireworks. Like it's. That's a lot Man. of pleasure. Girl. That's a lot no, of pleasure. It's awesome. It's awesome. Yeah. I need I need you men to get more with that program because it's like maybe a lot of you guys don't know. Yeah, I, I think I want to make myself the certified podcast sex educator. You should. I don't see why not. Because it's a little is- Wayne uh, lighter flick. <laughs> Yo, cause yeah, man. Cause if it, there's one thing I know, it's fucking sex. Yeah, I agree. But just you know, do what I said. Yeah, Hook your I... fingers in there. Start with one, get her going, nice and wet, and then stick the second one in there again. And if she can take a third, then go for the third, and then hook. And I've never been a three finger gal. I don't think any man has ever. Inserted three fingers into my my cooter cat. I have. I've gone as far as um almost well five. You've done all f- you've you've taken all five fingers. Mm-hmm. You've been five finger fucked. Yeah, I have. Wow. And let me say that it feels amazing. The only part though is that like because you know when you put your fingers together like the five fingers and you make like that little cone shape. Yeah. So that little cone is what would be inside of me. And then, but then there's the knuckles here. Mm-hmm. And it, like, it won't fit. Like, I won't get fisted, but it'll stop here. 
and then the knuckles would kind of hurt like you know that little area between your pussy and your ass yeah i've had somebody offer to fist me and i was like it's not happening bro my husband tried so many times I and wasn't it, he got it. as far as this the knuckles <laughs> yeah um <laughs> I and um, the spitter too. Yeah. Yeah. Nah. But that's just, it. It's I, only been the two of them. I I've, I said no. I was I um. I declined respectfully. I was like, nah. I'm always willing to try something because you never the know. fisting. Yeah, the it's just not. There's just some things that off the back I know are not for me. You know how there's just some things that you know, it's just not. It you just don't. <laughs> it'll tickle your fancy yeah. off the bat mm. fisting was one of those things it's just like some people are not into shit I'm literally definitely not into shit do you see how you can automatically definitely, decline that definitely, definitely like, not. nah that was me I was like nah I'm not doing it he was like no, no, you'll be doing not. it no nah, I won't I bet you I won't he was like I bet you will nah, I bet you I won't <laughs> I bet, damn I didn't yeah <laughs> I was like, let you try to do that shit unexpectedly. You getting kicked in your fucking face, bro. Like, no, we're not doing that. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. But hopefully that helped you, anonymous DMer. And I don't know. And but listen, you got to tell us if this is what it was about and if you tried and how it went. Right. Because I don't know exactly what. And I tried to ask him, like, what exactly do you want to know about squirting? And he just was like squirting women squirting i'm like oh, okay i mean i guess like, i wonder like were you we'll wondering it if it's pee? moment are you wondering if it's pee because it's not a pee i think it's not a hundred i think it contains some pee though it does it right. does so it does have like a small amount of pee in it but it's not like all pee like it's actual like a like a fluid or whatever that comes. If you die, you die. Like what's got a little pee going to do to you? Nothing. I know. It'll somebody you know somebody, somebody asked me today about pee in somebody's bring you mouth. Some type of nutrients that Let, your body no. lacks. <laughs> somebody asked me that shit today. Yeah. Yeah, she was like Would you let a guy pee in your mouth? And I was like yeah you would let a man pee in your mouth i would i actually have wait 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 <laughs> stories with dory you let a man pee in your mouth i have i have pee's not bad it tastes like salt water a little bit what yeah pee tastes like salt water. like salt water from where though like like salt, salt water no 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 Cause salt water is different. I- I'm thinking about like the beach salt water. So what beach is that? Like Orchard Beach salt water, like Miami salt water, no, like it's Dominican not- Republic salt water. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's different levels to salt water. I don't think it's like ocean salt water. Oh, it's okay. like home salt water. <laughs> Just a default salt water, like original, yes, like. What would you make at home? Okay, like the shit you gargle when you have a sore throat, salt water. Right. Okay. All right. Because I thought you said salt water, and it, my mind immediately went to the beach. So I'm like, wait. I know. That's why I'm like, wait. I need to know what kind of beach. <laughs> no. That, I, that's what I think. I think it tastes a little bit like salt water. Um. See, no. Don't sell it to me like salt water, bro. Because I'm going to just be like, oh, that's not that bad. But it's not that <laughs> bad. It really isn't that bad. But what? Okay, so, so when you get peed in your mouth, like, what do you do with it? Like, do you spit it out immediately? Do you, I like, gargle it? No, nah, fuck that shit. I spit it out. I'm not swallowing it. I'm not swallowing it. I, I may hold it for a little bit. Depending on what it is that the other person wants, but I'm spitting it out. I am not swallowing pee. Oh, I can't. I can't. I can't. But pee is not so bad. It's I not so bad. I can't see myself fucking with body. Just drink water, niggas. Like, drink water, people. Oh, and if the guy drinks a lot of water. Yeah, it's not bad. No, still, I can't. <laughs> I'm like, bro, if he drinks a lot of water, maybe. <laughs> uh, I don't know. 
Yo, I have to really. I it's ha- not as big a deal as it makes. It yo, seem. I gotta be deeply in love with you. <laughs> <laughs> that you'll be like, hey, baby, like, let me piss in your mouth. And I'll be like, okay. But that's definitely, that's definitely a kink that is going to have to take a certain type of someone for me to head down that road, for real. Because that's, I don't know. I don't know. I just, I've never. Um, it I've, takes like a specific level of trust. That too. <clears throat> hey, yeah, for me, for sure. Because for I have to be a level of trust for me to want to try anything. I'd be open minded to a lot of shit, but it's finding somebody that I trust. And I'm like, all right, let me fuck with it. Like, let me do it. Let me try it. That's true. I that's know. why I, I that's why I was so um so much older when I really started to get into shit. I think that's everyone yeah. though. Yeah. <clears throat> it definitely took years. Even- Because if you think about it, when you're young, like when you first lose your virginity in your teens, the way that you see it is, you kind of see sex as a straightforward thing. You don't think, you don't really think about the kinks and all the other little things until they start showing up like later on. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing. So it's like, as you get older, the more you try, like your boundaries just keep expanding little by little. So it's, it's easier to make those type of choices because Ja, you've already been through like all the other levels yeah. to get there. You, you know what I mean? Figure, yeah, you start getting comfortable in your sexuality and you know what you want to try, what you like, what you into. Right, yeah. That's a fact, yeah. And it, like the con to that is that once you unlock the door to that, like that's there's your- There's no going back. There's no going back. Like it has to either be- you have um, to- that level of better. Right. You can never <clears throat> go back to like some vanilla shit. Never. Yeah. It's like the first time that a man will like choke you or spit in your mouth. Oh my you God. never want to fuck with a man that doesn't choke you. Yeah. Like you find that so blah. Like, ugh. Like, damn, you didn't even grab me once. Like, no. I've recently gotten into slapping. Yeah. See, once that you start getting awesome. into shit like that, you never want to fuck with someone that doesn't do that. And there's uh, most men are like that, though. Yeah. They're not going to do those things unless you tell them that you're into it. And even then, it just doesn't hit the same as the person, the person that does it the first time. Right. That you're like, oh, because shit. It's, it's always those spur of the moment things, the things that just happen because they're happening mm-hmm. that you don't really think about. Those be the best ones. Like, those are the ones that are like, better to experience because yeah. you're you already have an open mind you're already in the middle of it and you're just gonna go with whatever right and it's just and i think that that's fucking awesome i don't know i just feel like connecting with somebody physically is so important you know um i don't know like it just has to I don't know. Maybe it's just because I'm like on cloud nine right now. (laughs) (laughs) But I just feel like, like, yo, there's just like when you have an attraction with somebody that you just cannot deny, like it's just, it's just there. Like uh, everything, like uh, down what they say, what they do, like things you have in common, like it just elevates everything. That's a fact fucking elevates everything yeah it's it's true it makes everything better that's why i'm not a one-night stander that's why i'm not a one-night stander because it it doesn't take it i don't think that it that it takes more for me than that initial moment to get me to that level where i want to unlock all that shit that i'm into Mm, so it mm. takes you know what i mean like it takes i think more. that also com- i think it. that also comes with age i've had my fair share of one night stands but they were all when i was younger and i don't know that i would be a one night stand kind of person now <clears throat> i just it's different. i don't know it's different like i the days where like you're just horny and you just look at a guy like um horny so i'm just gonna go fuck this random person mm. it's just like ew right 
it don't hit it don't hit the same no Man, because it's no. like what the fuck is the point of this like this shit is pointless it's not it's like it might feel good but it's like meh, it's just stupid yeah i know that's a fact Oh man, so this is a very sexy episode. It is. <clears throat> it's two in the morning. Um after hours. Oh my god, that's what it should be. Ladies hours. pitch after hours. Because this hours. is most definitely an after hours. After hours conversations, thanks to our squirting DM question or suggestion, whatever it was. Shout out to you. Yo. <laughs> Maybe I should give lessons. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Would you sign up for lessons from me what on kind of sex lessons? education? Sex ed. Would you Patreon, take... Patreon. Hey. On a Patreon, yeah. I, I can see men signing up for shit Listen, like that. I got y'all. I see us caking in on Patreon. <laughs> I got y'all. Yo, on the, sixth, on the sixth day, I can't even say sixth grand, sixth day of Black History Month, my future baby daddy, Drake, oh, decided to leave. I don't know if he decided to leak right, it or someone else that. leaked it. I don't know if Tramp that he was messing with that wasn't me decided to leak his Yo, dick pic video. I really, really, really want to know who he made this video for. Because that was most definitely the kind of video that you make to send to somebody. Oh, no, it was. In the mirror? He a freak. Yo, like He's I want to know who you sent that to, freak. and you know what? Scorpio freaks that they all are. <laughs> oh God, I love me some Scorpios. <laughs> the freaks that they are, no, but I'm a vent and say if you wasn't rocking with him before you knew he had a big dick, don't come rocking with him now when you know that he got a big dick. Yo, <laughs> so he was in Houston. The past couple of days, and he was gonna make a club appearance or whatever. Uh, you know, he just he does a lot of popping up. I gotta fucking be in Houston when he does these pop ups, but he does a lot of pop ups in these like places in Houston. Well, it's Houston and Memphis. He does that a lot. So he did some pop up in Houston. No one knew that he was gonna be there or whatever at the spot. And the the bar lounge that he was gonna be at, they posted it and they had to put as their caption, "If you touch." Drake's dick, we're kicking you out. <laughs> like you're getting kicked Yo, out. Yo, that of is spot. so that's fucking awesome. And let me just say, because I am going to say this, I would be the one of the ones to get kicked <laughs> out. And I don't give a fuck as long as it, my attempt is successful. Because once I get to touch Drake's dick, I don't give a fuck what you do to me. That was my goal. Drake, you know, Drake is half Jewish and half black. He definitely show his black side, honey. Mm. With that dick. And he wasn't even fully hard. Oh, I know. You Imagine how he is. Our male I need you to, I need somebody to leak that one when he's hard or when he's fucking. So, or something. our male listeners, you might want to exit the conversation and uh, the, the, <clears throat> exit the episode right about now. But you can tell in the video he wasn't fully hard. And it still look big. Your dick looks hard without it being fully erect. Bruh. Why didn't Rihanna wife him? <laughs> I don't That's know. My question. Why Rihanna? All the other Scorpio toxic traits. <laughs> right. <laughs> because the dick be so good, but everything else is so bad that you're like, yo, I everything can't. else is fucked the up. The dick can't even keep me. <laughs> Yo, that's a Your fact. Dick is so horrible that the dick can't even fucking. You be trying to hold on for dear life because the dick be so good, but you I like, know. God damn, you're a fucking liar. You're a nice <laughs> like, nah, fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> Keep your devil dick. <laughs> I can't, you gave me so much PTSD. Like, I can't even fucking deal with you. Like, I got anxiety now with <laughs> your fucking ass. <laughs> <laughs> Like you traumatized me. I'm fucking traumatized for life now. Like this is fucking keep your dick, keep your heart, keep your soul, keep everything. I don't even want it at this point. Shit. Um, no. But yeah, I'm like, why didn't Rihanna wife this man? Like, I just can't. Shout out to, to Papi Champagne, to Papi Shampoo, whatever he calls himself. But Champagne. I love you. 
Papi Champagne, I love you, baby. I'm out here just. She you. really does. I do. I, I love you too, but I love you for like a one night stand. I've loved Drake forever. <laughs> I've loved him through wheelchair Jimmy. Oh my god, I fucking I love him that his show. Corny phase, cause he oh, I always saw some type of like BDE in him. I don't know what is it, and then the like it's the toxicity with the like with the sensitive with the sensitivity mm. that will always get me. Yo, that's fucking dangerous. See, that will that's like that's get the me. definition of devil dick. Yeah. Is what you just said. Right. It's That's the what it fucking is. definition. Like, because they incorporate that sensitivity with the sex. And you find yourself like popping up and like, yo, who are these bitches that you're fucking talking to? Because <laughs> I will fucking cut them. Like, you know what I mean? Like that's drunk of shit. right now. <laughs> right. Like, why are you playing with me, nigga? Like, I will fucking blow this shit up right now. You know what I mean? Like, that's the type of nigga that you do that shit to. You that's know? so funny. Oh, that's so God. bad, but it's so real. Like, don't fucking play with me, nigga. Like, I'm from the Bronx. I cut motherfuckers. You know how we do. <laughs> and I'm Spanish. What happened? What we doing? <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, but. And don't you think they get like you gonna leave? Cause I already like, slashed your tire. Right, you know? Like where you going? Where where you going, baby? Come here, let me fuck you and make it right. But <laughs> I can't. I want to know who he was leaking this shit to. Like it's crazy. Mm. I'm surprised. lucky girl. I I feel like in a way, like because Drake has always kind of been like methodical. I kind of feel like it might have been a play on his move. To leak the shit, yo, and then no, what killed me? Oh, you think his, that maybe his, his response to the leak? Oh yeah, he was that like, shit was oh, funny. I wasn't hiding my dick from the world. I was hiding the world from my dick, yo. That shit is crazy. I was dying because that's the same response he gave when about he his son. son. Right, my god, I don't know, yo. I just feel like. <clears throat> Why were you hiding that from the world? We want to see. We want to see it. Oh, well, now see. you saw it. And I manifested that shit because I think early in the year or a few months ago, I said, yo, Drake needs to leak something. Yo, I swear to you. I'm like, yo, I feel like so many people have gotten leaked with shit. Even fucking Rihanna, when she was a Chris Brown, she got nudes leaked. Everybody gets shit leaked. Where is Drake? Who would you like to see? Um... Naked shit get leaked. Oh, I don't know. I can't think on the spot like this. I want a real good leak though. Like, I don't know. If it's um, a woman, I want all fours type of. Oh, video I would leak. love, love, love to see Carol G naked. Oh, Carol G. Oh my god, I am in love with that woman. They were talking about her on the Joe Biden. I love podcast. her so much. <laughs> was like i forgot to use the translator app <laughs> yeah but yo like the, no she's fire el acento like the accent the lips that little pouty thing that she fucking does the fuck me eyes like yo yeah Garo G she is, is so fucking fire yeah Garo i'm in G's love with Garo G. G. she grew on me though because i didn't like her when she first came out but she's a bad bitch listen if you ever decide that you want to switch over to the other side i'm here baby because in 2024, honey. Like, she probably girl. plays with the other side. Like, yeah, well, she needs to head on over here and let me play with that shit. <laughs> TMI. <laughs> Ooh, see, after hours, ladies pitch after hours. Hours, hours, hours. <laughs> <laughs> Create our own sound effects of this bitch. No. Yeah, but. I don't know. Poppy champagne, baby. Make your way to the Bronx. You made your way to the Bronx and was trying to fuck with Ice Spice. Like, out of all the fucking people. Dang. I don't know what he was thinking. Like, hello? I don't know. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Lucy, I'm home. Hello? Oh, yeah, but this was fun. We had a really great night. I'm yeah, we did. We went out. I had a great night last night too. So this was a great weekend, weekend. for me, bro. Like, bro, mm. and it's just getting started because now we got my birthday coming up. Oh yay! 
Yes. I feel like February is job is over. I know, right? Right? It's how we're already halfway. <laughs> we're already halfway through. <laughs> the month is short as hell already as it is. I'm so happy that it's a leap year. So I've always felt like leap years are my oh, lucky years. Yeah, it is a leap year. You and um, yeah, so I'm like really excited about it. Yo, for the people who's born February 29th, <laughs> I knew this guy that he was born February 29th. I've I'm never like, met anybody who was born February 29th. Yeah. And I have questions about your yeah. birthday. He was, um he was like the bar back at a bar that I used to go to. And we just were, we were like talking one day or whatever. And he told me he was like, you know, he was a Pisces. I said, let me tell you, you know, how I mm-hmm. bond with people about astrology. But um, he was like, yeah, I'm a leap year baby. And I'm like, oh shit. That's so I'm crazy. like, what day do you celebrate? Like, do you celebrate the 28th or the 30th? And he was like, no, we celebrate after. Like, it's bad luck to celebrate before. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. Oh, so technically it's March 1st. Uh mm-hmm. huh. So technically, he celebrates March 1st. But you know, since every four years, I'm like, oh, shit, you're like 10. (laughs) (laughs) Yo, for real. Yeah, technically, I'm like 10 years old. Yeah, that's hilarious. Yeah. I always wondered about that. I forgot. um, I don't remember who I was talking to. And they were like, no, you just celebrate like every year at the, you know, the last day of the month. That's insane, though. Like how you're just like, I don't know. That's like how Dominicans always have two birthdays. He was Dominican too. The funny thing, he was fucking Dominican. Yo, I miss attending Dominican parties. Speaking of Dominicans, bro, Dominican parties be lit. I just miss being around the atmosphere of like Dominicans. Like it just smells of like scamming and fucking not scamming money. <laughs> Oh god. It smells of scams and and money and like crisp bills. Yo, I made a fresh joke out the ATM. I made a joke the other day about how um and mango. You can't I, forget mango. Uh, yo, I could go for some mango right now. I'm hungry. You were- um <laughs> <laughs> I was talking to this Dominican guy and I was just saying how like I'm like, yo, we're gonna be like I <laughs> I said, we're going to be just like, you know, the rest of our people. I'm like, we're going to be each other's second family, you know, whatever. <laughs> and and then I put hashtag Dominican pride. <laughs> and oh, my God, I was right. dying. And he was laughing so hard. Oh, it was so funny. It's just so fun. Like, Dominican parties are fun. Like, having a having like a Dominican guy friend that you mess with is fun. Yeah. It's so funny because I get in the Uber and every time it's every single time. And I'm sure you could agree with me. Every single time I've gotten in an Uber and the driver is Dominican, he's always on the phone with a woman. Yo, fast. They are always on the phone with a Like, they greet you when you get in the Uber and then they just with C keep mommy. talking. Like, they just keep talking to whoever they're talking to. And, Boy, and sweet talking the shit out of that bitch. Yeah. Like, promising her a the bunch world. of things. The world. He's gonna bring the heavens down to this bitch. Like, she's gonna see angels you know what, fucking though? with him. Yeah, but th- they kind of do that. No they, no, they do. That's what I'm saying. It's like they promise they you really the world do. and they really will give you like, the world. They really the problem you, is that they're also going to give the world to someone other else. Other women. They're going to mm-hmm. give the world to other women. So it's just like, yo. How y'all get like this? I need to. I need some like Dominican men our age to, to kind of to see if they followed in those footsteps and like tell us how the fuck does that work? Like how do you afford... To fucking maintain two they, families, all bro. All they do is work. They fucking own a bodega. Then they Uber as a second job. And then they probably cut hair. And they mm. fucking do whatever else that they do. But I guarantee all oh, they probably a bouncer at some place every two weeks at some bar. They really... Am I lying about those be their jobs? Yeah, no, that is true. Those are their jobs. <laughs> they own a bodega. Drive Uber, they're barbers, they work as bouncers. Yeah, that's true. Deadass. Security. Security. They're always in the security fields. 
It was always the Dominican man in the fucking security field. Should we be offended by this, guys? <laughs> <laughs> She's the Dominican one, not me. <laughs> Should we be offended but by this? Only, I'm but they understand. take care of the three or four families that they have. It's That's insane. Crazy. I need me a Dominican. It's insane. I always, all right. So I've I've never like seriously dated a Dominican man because I always felt like, you know, my uncles fucked me up. I saw what they did, so then I'm like, I don't want one of you to do the same thing to me. <laughs> like, fuck no. So then I went, I leaned over to the other side, the Puerto Rican side, and we doing the same shit. But no, no, no. But our level of douchebag is different. Like Puerto Rican men, their level of douchebag is different because they promise you shit, but they don't come through with any of the shit they promise. They leave you pregnant and fucking, <laughs> they kick you to the curb and fucking whatever. But Dominican men actually like take they care try. of their families and they yeah. try to. But the thing is that because they work so much and they have so many different jobs, they're not the type of like, fathers that are present like that mm-hmm. that's what it is yeah because they're always always working i don't know i think men i, I need a couple i need to have like two dominican don't come i don't gotta me work dominican men because i do love ya and shit but i'm also traumatized by dominican men. as we said previously <laughs> If you have dated a Dominican man, you, you might be entitled, entitled to, to compensation. compensation. <laughs> Please dial 1-800-LADIES-PITCH and we'll connect you to one of our attorneys. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us your story <laughs> and how you have been affected by a Dominican man. <laughs> no, that's crazy. <laughs> and his three or four families. <laughs> Were you approached by wife number three? <laughs> if so... <laughs> What was the <laughs> end result? What you sent a message on WhatsApp <laughs> by one of the wives in Dominican Republic? <laughs> Let uh, us know. We'll do you get story. along? Are you sister wives? <laughs> <laughs> do you communicate on who's gonna have him what day? <laughs> Yo, dead ass. No, listen. Let me just say, on holidays. I, let me just say that I think that that's like a great fucking idea. When you have like more than one person, like I feel like scheduling is fucking awesome, and I think that it should be Yo, done more often. That and I insane. think that there would be much more successful relationships. That is insane. Penciling in your man, like yes, because let's say you have two and he has two. <laughs> A Dominican man will have two or three. He would never let you have two. You yeah, know no, that. that is true. But he don't need to know that he's number two. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like hell no. They will play around with as many women as they want. God Yo, that's, forbid. Yeah, facts. God. They're very like. There's that's super mine. territorial. God do forbid not. you give your pussy away. Mm. You will not hear that. I end know. Of it's it. like your pussy doesn't even belong to you anymore. It's just, just there. Yo, let me tell Yo, you. I had somebody say that to me. I was going to get to that right now. Bro, yesterday. <laughs> Dominican? No. Oh. Irish. Oh. I was going to say that when I used to mess with the Dominican dude, I used to mess with, like, that I found out he was fucking married nine months later, he would dead ass tell me not to fuck anybody else. He would dead, yo. And mean and, it? And mean it. Like, <laughs> a stone cold straight face, like, tell me, like, yo, I don't want you sleeping with anybody else. Boom, boom, boom. Like, he would try to make it like a safety thing, which I understand, but it was more of like, he knew that I was a single one. And his again, he knew. I didn't know. I thought we were both single. But to him, you know, I was the single one. So he didn't want me playing around with anybody else. So when I found out that he the was audacity. actually all time high. So when I found out he was married and also had other women, I'm like, and you didn't like you didn't want me sitting like you're fucking nuts, my man. You're crazy. Yeah, you're fucking nuts, and yeah, I don't know. But I don't know either. I am entitled to compensation. That's all I know. I bet you are. <laughs> I don't have any stories of surviving a Dominican man. 
I give you a million um, surviving Puerto Rican men. But yeah, no. So my fucking uncles, my dad and my uncles, they traumatized me, bro. I was like, yo, I don't want to be with a Dominican man. Because like, this is what they all do. And I was like, yo, I don't want that shit. So then I started to, I, let me see, my first boyfriend. All my boyfriends have been Puerto Rican. All my boyfriends. Mm. What does that say about me? You love Puerto Ricans. <laughs> I do. I love you people. No. Um, but yeah, no, I don't know. I forgot where I was going with that. On that note, thank you guys for joining us on this bonus episode after hours. It was fun. Yeah. Hopefully you guys didn't. We didn't drive you guys too crazy. Hopefully we answered the squirting question or whatever. Yeah, because I mean, to. like, at least you could have given some more details, my man. Hit us up and let us know that like, you have to be specific on what you want us to cover with squirting. And Dory here, the sex educator, she'll be able to answer all your squirting questions. And if you want a demonstration, cash up her. Yo, facts. <laughs> I will do it, but you need to pay me. She will definitely do that shit. <laughs> For science. For research purposes only, she will definitely do that shit. <laughs> I'm a very big nerd. But guys, you already know. Uh, subscribe to the podcast. If it's your first time listening, let us know what you think of the episode, the bonus episode. I subscribe, share, review the podcast. Yeah, 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 yeah. Those streaming platforms on Instagram at Lady Page and Twitter. Bitter. Twitter. <laughs> Jesus it's Christ. It's X now. Fuck Elon. It's Twitter. Oh, Page shit. 718. All right. All right. Um, so we will catch you guys on the next one. Adios. Bye. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs>